Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a tiny subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, girl, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates. And come back each week for weekly uploads. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some luxury designer dupes. Now, when it comes to trying out dupes, I like to try out dupes when I want to try out a different trend or something that I know I don't really love at the moment usually when I get a dupe it kind of like helps me helps me decide if I want to invest in the actual luxury item and sometimes for me the dupes work I just keep the dupe and I don't even worry about buying the um designer item maybe because it's like the dupe sometimes scratch my itch and I feel like mm, I don't love it that much to spend the um retail price for a luxury item so I would always say try out a dupe when you don't know if you really love something or you want to try like a different trend look for a dupe and then it'll help you decide if you want to get the um real deal also I get a lot of questions about dupes versus replicas dupes is kind of like inspired by and a replica is literally a piece that is a uh, a copy and it's trying to be portrayed as the real deal dupes versus replicas it's like we can go on and on about it but me personally I like dupes I try out dupes and yeah so if you want to see any of these dupes girl just keep watching also as I go on throughout this video I'm going to try to add the dupe and the original so you can kind of see the difference between um the two so first up i have a dupe for the versace medusa aventus platform i really 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 want to try out these platforms but i couldn't find them in my size and when i did find them in my size i didn't they was in my cart on farfetch but i didn't feel the urge to pull the trigger because i was like do i want these shoes because they're hyped or do i really love these i feel like if i would have got them in a yellow or that red or pink and i'm not even a pink girl these shoes look so good in color, so I feel like before I take that plunge and buy the uh, Versace shoes, I want to try these from Public Desire. Now, anytime I'm looking for a designer luxury dupe for a shoe, I always try out Public Desire or I do Ego because I feel like those are two places or websites that they do really, really good with um, duping luxury shoes. They're usually um, comfortable. They're always affordable, girl. The most expensive shoe I've made I paid for from both of these sites maybe was like $60 and that was for boots and to me that's still really really good um great quality this is not sponsored I'm just telling you the tea girl now this dupe isn't the exact same it's very inspired by but you still get that Versace feel um they have the square toe box which y'all I love that these shoes just remind me of like a Bratz doll. As soon as I saw the Versace shoe, I was like, oh my God, it looked like a cute Bratz doll shoe. So they still stuck with the um, square toe box and it gives you like this three layering platform effect. I'm not, I'm sure it's not three layers, but it gives you like this three layering detail. Love that they uh, stuck with that. Now with it, what is different on this shoe versus the original Versace shoe is the buckle around the ankle. They don't have that, um, that detailing they have like these rhinestone detailing on the original and also the back is open on the original Versace shoe the back is enclosed which I absolutely love that but this is still okay I feel like this is a good dupe to try if you want to try out that look now a lot of you were sending me the dupes for these shoes and from Steve Madden I went in Steve Madden I tried on those shoes and I can tell you they were so uncomfortable they hurt like hell it that shoe was so hard and just it was digging in my feet and I just was like it wasn't worth it yes it was a good price and that was actually a great dupe but they were so uncomfortable I was like oh my god it felt like somebody made those shoes out of concrete it was just very uncomfortable the next dupe I have a dupe for the Versace Medusa Aventus Chelsea boot now when I saw the boot I feel like I love this boot more than I love the um, platform this boot is still a platform but it is so sexy it reminds me of a new take on the Saint Laurent Billy boot but I feel like the Billy boot is definitely a Saint Laurent classic but I feel like this Versace uh, platform the Chelsea boot platform these are sickening they're sickening they give you a little glam with a little Rick Owens vibe with just like a whole lot of height I love a high 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 platform because I'm gonna get extra height and I'm not gonna feel it that platform to um 
platform to heel ratio it needs to be good okay i always do the uh, math when i'm in the store i'm like what's i need to know how high is the platform how high is the um heel so i can subtract and see what we giving okay but this right here girl she's gorgeous now i did get to try this boot on however it was i got it i tried it on in the 39 i would have liked this boot in a 40 the 39 was way too exact and i feel like i could have tried to like wear them to break them in but i'm at the point where girl i don't have time to be breaking in shoes baby by the time i get this shoe if i'm spending that type of money on this shoe it needs to be broken in already okay now the next dupe girl i am excited for her because i'm i'm excited but i'm also annoyed and i found the dupe to the saint laurent page platform you guys know how i feel feel about the Saint Laurent page platform that's probably my favorite platform it's just so good anything that's going to strap around the ankles I think it's just sexy and so cute I have been looking for the gold Saint Laurent page platforms for years for years I could never find them I literally found a pair last year in October that's when I got the ones I have but I really wanted the full gold platform I feel like those were just more of my vibe but I settled for the ones I got I still love them I looked for dupes high and low not a dupe on, on this uh, internet okay now you know on the internet girl you can find everything I couldn't find a dupe to save my life and literally BAM this dupe popped up like I'm like girl of course you're gonna pop up when I don't need you anymore but I am going back and forth and I'm just like this shoe is like $45 it's taking everything in me not to buy this shoe y'all because it's so good i feel like everybody needs an all gold platform in your wardrobe they're just so sexy and i feel like gold looks so good on melanated skin girl like so is this is taking everything in me not to buy these but i'm trying not to get them because i don't i'm trying to do this thing where i don't need the same item in multiple forms or multiple colors i'm trying to stop doing that okay but if you are into the Saint Laurent Page platform, I feel like you definitely need to get this. I've seen this shoe in person. She's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous, y'all. Oh, uh, she's gorgeous. I think if you're into the Page platform, you should definitely try out this shoe. It's so good. Only thing that is a little different, that this has a buckle around the ankle instead of that tie up strap which the page platform has now i'm okay with that because i feel like sometimes with my page platforms she can depend on what i'm doing uh if how i tie it it can get a little loose so i did wish they had some type of way to like buckle it so it doesn't come a loose so i love the fact that the dupe does have a buckle so this is definitely a shoe that i will recommend you try out if you're in love with the page platform like i am next up i have a pair of glasses because what is a video without me talking about sunglasses um when it comes to sunglasses i love me a good dupe but i am a little picky when it comes to dupes I feel like with sunglasses the dupes the quality need to be there I don't like flimsy sunglasses I don't want it to be kind of like paper thin or just you know the lenses are not if it's a pair of black glasses I need them to be black I'm a little picky when it comes to sunglasses y'all know how I feel once again about sunglasses so I found two pairs of Celine dupes Celine sunglasses are very expensive so if I can find a good dupe to them I always will go for the dupe and y'all these are so good when I saw these glasses I was like wow they did such a great job and they're from Amazon don't sleep on Amazon sunglasses please don't because a lot of sunglasses that I well back when I first started on YouTube I had like so many pairs of sunglasses you guys were asked about I will tell you that they're from Amazon once they're no longer available you guys want the link these are two definitely pair these are two pairs of sunglasses I would definitely recommend because I feel like you can get that designer look for a steal I'm not gonna say a deal this is a steal so I'm gonna link both of these down below and yeah and they with these dupes they did such a great job because Celine is well known for like the shape of certain glasses on the handles and stuff and they did a really good job with these dupes so also with sunglass dupes I would recommend investing in a few pairs of sunglass dupes like me I have a lot of Fendi glasses but I've also got dupes for those because certain places I just don't like to wear my designer glasses I've learned my lesson about wearing them to like amusement parks um certain festivals when I know I'm gonna be like out and just kind of like a lot going on or by the pool if I'm actually going to the pool I'm gonna get in the pool I've learned my lessons with uh bringing my designer glasses to the pool because that chlorine water will literally F up your lenses and it's just tragic. So what I've started doing is investing in um, designer dupes so I can like, when I'm in certain situations, 
we gotta wear the dupe girl we cannot wear the real deal because i learned my lessons and i'm also watermarks on sunglasses are just tragic so take it from me invest in you some good luxury dupes when it comes to sunglasses even if you have the real deal get a dupe for it because certain situations do not deserve girl they just don't certain situations could never see me dead okay in a good pair of glasses like disney world i learned my lesson there girl next up i found the dupe for the chloe betty boots when i post these boots on the internet my dms my comments everything was just going crazy about these boots okay so I'm so happy that they finally are putting out great quality dupes for this boot because I feel like this is such a great boot to have. Girl, you know how you know something can be worn in the rain but you like, I, I kind of like forgot these were still slightly rain boots. One day I wore this with like a cute little rain outfit y'all. Oh my god it was so perfect it literally was perfect these are boots that i feel like i wanted them in green and now i'm like dang i should have got them in the green and the black because they come in handy i promise you on those cold winter days where it's like raining and you don't want to wear a pair of leather boots or you don't want to get any of your shoes or loafers messed up girl these boots they come in handy they give you a very pull together look but still once i get home the boots is dry because it's still a rain boot so i feel like the chloe betty boot if you're into the boot go ahead and pay for on um, full price for the retail i've been seeing them on sale if i can find a pair i'll link them down below but these dupes are also chef's kiss a lot of you have been purchasing them and sending me pictures on instagram and they look like the real deal they're so good they're doing good with the silhouette the heel height the zipper everything is chef's kiss so definitely check out these boots if you're looking to um try out the chloe betty boot um trend or style next i found two dupes for bottega um i found the bottega veneta sponge slides a dupe for them and also a dupe for the pouch now this is something i put this on here because i feel like these two items are great for the spring summertime spring summer by the pool you know how you just lounging around also i've learned my lesson with wearing nice slides to the pool that's why lately i've been definitely into investing in more pool um slides and bags because i've learned my lesson by taking nice things to the pool don't do it sis don't do it especially if you know you just want to have a great time at the pool don't waste it don't waste your pieces at the pool girl i've literally got watermarks on some saint laurent sandals that just broke my heart because i love those so now i'm like okay no we have to have specific shoes for the pool specific shoes for the beach like my um saint laurent oran sandals they would never see the beach ever again like it's never happening okay like when you wearing real leather sandals to the, either the beach or the pool just prepare for the wear and tear to really just be ugh. so i feel like the sponge slides they're perfect for summertime at the pool i feel like these are shoes that you can literally uh if they get wet you can just like let them sit in the sun dry off i tried the bottega sponge slide shoes on they're so freaking comfortable but also the pouch i put these two together because i feel like the pouch in the um bag they're so cute how cute would they be um in the summertime oversized like white poplin shirt hold the green bag with the slides so cute add some anklets because you cannot go outside with slides on without anklets you should never leave your house without anklets but i'm just saying but i just thought these two would be so cute for the spring summer and i when it comes to the bottega pouch i have dupes to that i don't have the real pouch because i feel like that's not something that i would actually wear every day and for that price i'm just not gonna pay for it because i'm not gonna get my cost per wear from it so this is something that i would definitely do now last but certainly not least i have a dupe for the prada shorts now i pray i'm crossing my fingers that by the time this video go out this <laughs> these shorts are still available because these shorts are the perfect dupe I'm talking about they did a great job now when it comes to ASOS that's where I got my other um shorts from but I should have went up a size because I wore those shorts out y'all I wore the those dupes out till they were falling apart so a lot of you asking me okay what happened to the dupes to the product shorts I wore them till I couldn't wear them anymore when I like something I'm gonna get my cost for wear from it and I feel like I have the original now I have the old uh, the original Prada 
nylon shorts because I love the dupe so much. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, as soon as I can get my size, I'm buying them. Y'all, when I look at the shorts, my original Prada shorts to these shorts, I was like, all it's missing literally is the Prada uh, logo at the bottom. And the drawstring is a little different, but they still have drawstring. I love the fact that they did a, they did a drawstring because it just cinched in your waist and it just looks so good. And girl, the price, you can't beat it. I think the Prada shorts are like $900 and these shorts, I want to say maybe 30. I can't really remember, but such a good dupe. If you are into the nylon, short trend which is perfect for traveling in the summertime that is one pair of shorts that I feel like I've gotten my money's worth times 10 in the summertime girl I wear those shorts out they're so easy they're black so they go with everything and just pick them up and just go I absolutely love these shorts and out of everything I list on this I would definitely recommend getting these shorts or at least trying them out all right y'all so that's all that I have for this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if I get well when I get um, any of the dupes because I have three on this list that's in my cart that I'm definitely gonna add I'm most likely I'm gonna show them in a vlog so make sure you are catching up on all the videos go ahead back watch vlogs you know get caught up and if you are going to try out any of these dupes comment down below let me know and i will see you girls in the next video